is quite possibly the most indestructible chair ever made. The 1006 Navy Chair, built on a reputation of brute force, but whose beauty graces the pop culture landscape. Hey, if TV's Dr. House likes it, it must be good. Ask a kid to, to, to draw a chair, she would probably take the 1006 chair, because it's just a classic chair. It doesn't have a cup holder, it doesn't play your applications, it's just a chair. Modern designers love it for a splash of industrial chic. There's also a touch of glamour in this chair. Legend has it that the seat pan was modeled after the derriere of actress Betty Grable. You can't say it's true now. It sounds good. <laughs> it is shaped to the human form, and you fit in it just nicely. I mean, big or small, and whatever, you fit into it nicely. During World War II, the Navy needed a chair that was lightweight, fireproof, and able to withstand a torpedo blast to the side of a destroyer. A master tool and die maker from Pennsylvania stepped up to the plate. Wilton Dinges, founder of the Electric Machine and Equipment Company, or Emico, used his engineering prowess to create the prototype for the 1006. He basically took a generic wood chair took the design over and made it in aluminum and a special hardening procedure, uh, thermo hardening, um, makes the chair super light, made of aluminum, and at the same time, six times stronger than steel. But at first, Dinges had a hard time selling it to the Navy brass. This was happening in a hotel in an eighth floor in the conference room. So Dinges was taking the chair and opened the window and threw the chair out running downstairs, picked up the chair and came back, and the chair didn't have any problem. Needless to say, he got the deal. Word of its toughness soon got around. In libraries, in police stations, in investigation rooms, it was basically everywhere because it, you cannot destroy it. But the Navy chair was also beautiful. Its sleek design fit in at home, the office, even upscale hotels. Production exploded. Today it's an icon of American design and is still made by hand. No two chairs are alike. They're all handcrafted with careful attention to detail. The production process starts with sheets of recycled aluminum, which are fed into a cutting machine. All our stuff is 80% recycled, but we do believe in using the recycled aluminum. The back rest and back legs are made of one continuous aluminum tube pass through this bending machine. The front legs start out as flat sheets, which are laid out into this punch press that stamps out their contour. A bead of aluminum solder closes the seam. Slots are routed where the crossbar at the back of the chair will go. The chair parts are then welded by craftsmen, who make this exacting job look very easy. The welding process is one at a time. There's no automated machines as far as making the 1006, none whatsoever. It's all done by craftsmen. After the welding has been smoothed out, the chairs are submerged into an acidic bath, cleaning them further. Then, the crucial process of hardening begins. The chairs go into a super hot salt bath. The salt is, runs at a thousand degrees. It comes in as like salt, powdered salt, and it's so hot it turns to liquid. From their state of extreme heat, the chairs are immersed in cold water. It sort of freezes the molecules in its biggest state. This process of heating, followed by rapid cooling, is what helps give the Navy chair its legendary toughness. Then it goes into the oven. It keeps shrinking those molecules smaller and smaller, and the aluminum becomes stronger and stronger. So when it's done, after it cools down, I mean, we got a chair that's stronger than steel. But it's not over yet. In a hot tank of sulfuric acid, the chairs receive a charge of more than 400 volts of electricity, causing a chemical reaction that locks in the strength. The process is called anodization. When we get through with our hardening process, it feels like they take a better beating than steel and has a durable finish and will not rust and will not deteriorate. Once the gliders are attached, the 1006 is ready to begin its very long life. It comes with, get this, a 150-year guarantee. Maybe you get a scratch in it, and we can easily repolish this chair. 
But the people never come back to us. They want that the product is aging with them. The Navy chair also helped set the stage for Emma co-chairs to come. But it's the 1006 that remains the classic.